Okay, um, hello everyone. This is a little tutorial on how to make discounts um, for on RPG Maker VX Ace. So let's go ahead and make a new project. Uh, I'm just going to call it discount. Um, I'm not really going to do anything special with mapping or anything. I'm just going to make a little basic spot and uh, put a little dude here. He's going to be handling our shop. Or she. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, okay. Just go ahead and make that event. Just leave it there for now. So go into your script editor, and there are there's two places you want to do this at. First, you want to create like it all depends on what you want. If you want to make half off, or um, or if you just want a certain value to be minus, that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, I gotta admit, like I've only done this once, so I apologize if I make any mistakes. But in the end run, it it will be all, they will, all the mistakes will be corrected. All right, let's go. So um, first thing you want to do is the window. Where is it? Shop buy right here. Now you want to look down here where it says drawing the item price. Um, draw item right here. Now you want what you want to do is right right above the first draw text. You want you want to you want you want to make an if statement if and we're gonna make a variable here. Um, it's a dollar sign and then variable name. It automatically creates it so you don't have to go up anywhere special to create it, and it becomes a part of the game. So um, basically, we're gonna create a variable. It's gonna be called uh, let's see. Discount, huh? I was, I, was, I was like debating whether I should capitalize it or not. If dollar sign discount equals equals one, or no zero, sorry, no not enter. Okay, um, space that out to make it look good. And then type in else underneath that, and then then you just want to go ahead and copy this, and then right 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 next to the uh, the price item. You want to do divided by two. Um, click apply. So um, that's that right there is just going to be um, this. We're, right now we're just going to be cutting the pricing in half. That's this is going to be our discount. Uh, if you want, like, if you really want to, um, if you if you want to have like a special amount uh, decreased, then you could do you could create another variable. Um, here, you know what? Let's do that. If it equals zero, then actually you know what? Replace else with end. And then you do another thing. If discount equals equals one, then it does this. Then you can end that. And then you can do if discount equals two. And uh, item, you just copy that again. And instead of p putting divided by two this time, you want to put minus value dollar sign value on value x, just in case the just in case the variable value is actually somehow taken. I doubt it is, but just to be safe, value x all in caps end. So now we have three possibilities. Um, okay, so now you just go ahead and apply that and then go down to the scene shop. Okay, so now we're going to go down here to the very bottom uh, where you see just this little uh, get purchase price. Now we're going to do the, basically the same thing. If discount equals equals zero. I keep pressing enter. Um, <laughs> so used to it. Okay, there we go. Space that out, make it look pretty good. Um, now and if I'm used to typing C, so I'm, I'm, I sometimes I'll end up typing those things, which are not necessary in this. Discount equals one, well two equal signs, obviously. <coughs> at buy window dot price at item divided by two, like that. I th I believe it's like that. Could be wrong, but again, it'd be corrected. If discount equals equals two, buy on window dot price this is actually unnecessary there's actually another easier way of doing this I just thought of that oh well we'll just go with this method um, minus value see the other way would be you you wouldn't even really need to type um yay Facebook <laughs> yeah you wouldn't even really need to type uh, discount equals equals two here you would simply just type minus value on this and then change the value over time but um, for the sake of learning more about Ruby I guess that's to my defense my excuse Whatever, we're done. <laughs> just click OK, and um, this is gonna make a choice here: discount, no discount, just for uh, purposes, I guess. So now you go to shop processing. Uh, let's have a potion here, high potion, full potion, just for testing, and copy that and put that there. Um, branch end, okay. At the branch end, add a script: discount equals zero. You know what? Let's add, let's add a third choice here. Uh, discount 2 just for the testing purposes again 
Okay. So now, uh, right above this, you want to paste the script. Just uh, click this, press Control C. Click this, press Control V. And uh, we're gonna edit this. We're gonna say discount equals one. Hopefully, I spelled that right. I think I did. Copy that and paste it. Discount equals two. Well, I'm sorry. Wait, no, no, no. This needs to be a zero. Okay, I apologize. I made a mistake there. This needs to be zero. This needs to be one, and this needs to be two. All right, there we go. Now, uh, wait, wait. Go ahead, back and edit this. I'm sorry. Now you're gonna add the value. Value equals dollar sign value equals. Uh, let's say you want 50, 50 bucks off. That's all you would do. Value equals fifty. Click apply, and uh, discount equals zero. And we're also we're we're gonna reset uh, value as well. This resets everything just in case you don't end up like going to another shop and it gets discounted as well because you forgot to reset it. Value equals zero. See, I I have like half a mind to put a little uh, a semicolon like at the end of it because that is so freaking loud. Okay, discount. Yeah. Wait, that's right. It's, this is no discount right here. See, I, I, I have it backwards. Oh well. See, get twenty half off, and and apparently we have a problem here. Oh, oh, oh! I know what it was. Uh, it was value X. That's what the problem was. So you know what? Let me change this around real quick. That's a simple thing to fix. No discount. Discount. There we go. <laughs> I had it wrong. The value is supposed to be value X. I added the thing wrong. Yes, that is why. Okay, so let's test this out. And now you, now by doing this, now you know how to have discounts at certain shops. <laughs> like how the title just says discount. Uh, no discount. Fifty buck, hundred fifty buck, four hundred fifty buck. Discount. Twenty five, seventy five, two twenty five. That's a half off thing. Fifty dollars off. Well, there you go. Free potions, heck yes. Alright guys, so, uh, but, I think there's a huge problem. I don't know if this will be like this or not, but, um, let's see. Let's say $500 off. <laughs> Why not? Who doesn't want $500 off? I'm thinking it'll go below zero, which I hope it doesn't. If it does, you can always manage it by not, by simply, um, yep, it does. It goes below zero. <laughs> You can manage this easily by, um, well, simply not having an insane discount. Well, there you go. Uh, I hope this video has helped a lot of people uh, who want to make discounts in their video games. All right.